He made a, a small track bar adjustment of four tires, and he's setting sail. It's been 80 races since his last win. And there's the margin right now, seven-tenths of a second. Yeah, this is not even a contest here no. right now. Now, if, this thing, far. if this thing goes green, Kevin Harvey's going to drive it off in the sunset. Yeah. Even though it already set. Yeah, his car's not that good. He's just hoping that he doesn't see another caution to give these guys an opportunity to get fresh tires because that's not the best scenario for his race that's car. the issue as to when you do finally make that pass pulling up in front of the. You'll see now he's been able to, to clear that. Montoya's not going to press the issue too much either because he's accomplishing as much as he wants to win. It's really about him uh, solidifying his self into the chase. Caution for the nighttime at Ida. Now Kevin Harvick will have to hold off the challenges of we Montoya and company. Who has the fastest pit crew? Let's see. The 42 wants to free it up a bit. They actually made a slight track bar adjustment. Four tires. He's still in the pit. Down and away, Shannon. Jamie, they hooked uh, Kevin Harvick up for the short run. A pound of air in all four tires. At four tires and fuel for the 29. A race off of pit road, you see Harvick there and Rudiman up a spot, Casey Kane up a spot, Greg Biffle. His guy's getting it done. Four tires up three positions. The Montoya lost two spots, but uh, the good thing for him, I think, is he's, he's going to start on the outside lane. That's where he wants to be on this restart. They spin the tires, green flag in Atlanta. There comes Hammond on the inside. Rudiman is there. Yeah, Rudiman kind of blocked his progress for a second. But here comes Hamlin. Harvick got a nice job, but here comes Casey Kane back on the inside. Off the turn, Casey Kane dead even with Kevin Harvick. Kane knows this is his chance. He's seen that the 29 hasn't been the best on these restarts. He knows this is his chance to win this race. Ten laps to go this time by, and Casey Kane is the leader. Montoya driving the car he finished second with at Pocono, Pennsylvania. His best finish of the year, his only top five. White flag for Casey Kane. Straight away, one to go. 30. Casey Kane said they were very frustrated about the disappointing finish at Bristol, Tennessee. They dropped from 8th to 11th in the point standings after finishing 28th at Bristol. They have finished outside the top 10 the last three races in a row. They were in jeopardy of maybe not making the chase. They came to Atlanta on a mission. And here, under the lights at Atlanta Motor Speedway on a Labor Day weekend, Casey Kane gets it done and goes to victory lane. Great job. B. Harvick, Montoya, Rudiman, and Martin in the top five. Rudiman gave me a little push forward, and actually I was thinking either way as long as I can get through the gears, and I hadn't all night, so when Rudiman gave me that, that push, I was like, man, I think I might have a shot here, and I cleared Harvard pretty quick, and we were gone. And we've seen this pattern for a while in the night. Remember Jeff Gordon up front in the back, now working his way toward the front. Harvick, unbeatable last segment of the race. Now he's slipping back. Can you explain how this happens? Well, I really, as a driver, I, I've seen this happen before, and generally what happens, it's always the tire. Look, they got a good, durable tire here tonight. Goodyear has no doubt about that. But they, this is the first time they've run this particular tire at this night race. They did not run this tire the first race. And so some of the drivers are complaining about some inconsistency, and I really think that's what you're seeing right here. I mean, you look at Martin Truex up front, now he's in the back. I believe it's happening like that, guys. Yeah, have you seen this tonight? We've heard the crew chiefs talk about it. Every time they bolt on four fresh tires in this race car, it seems to give them a different feel. We heard Steve Latart saying earlier, they jacked so much wedge in the car, they don't know if they're putting it in or taking it out because they've been so many rounds on the track bar. It seems like every time they switch to a fresh set of tires, they have a different problem and they can't quite figure it out.